I've got one that can see. If you haven't really researched Flat Earth, maybe you should challenge some of your already existing beliefs. If we live on a ball, and you were standing in America, and you went down to Australia, which is at the bottom of that ball, you would technically be upside down. But globalists say to me, no, no, you wouldn't because it's so big. Yes, you would. Here is a globe, have a look at it. Look at the plane flying around. At some point, if space was real and you were out in space observing, the plane would be upside down, shown in this example. Did you know you can't level a ball? See the gaps under it? That's because the surface below it isn't level. Levels are straight, and we know water is level. When you put the level on top of the globe, it's only level at that one point, which is level. As you rotate it around, as soon as you move it like this, the bubble goes hard to one end because it's not reading properly. It doesn't work. It can't read level like that. Levels don't work like that. Open your mind and understand how levels work. If you have a one metre level, it's perfectly straight for one metre. If you have a 10 metre level, it'll be perfectly straight for 10 metres. If you have a 500 metre level, it's perfectly straight for 500 metres. If you had a 1 million metre level, it would be straight for 1 million metres. Now, if water is level, no matter the quantity, even if the ground below the ocean was curving in any way, the surface is level, meaning it doesn't curve. So if the surface doesn't curve, the earth can't curve all straight and flat. Impossible for us to live on a ball. Think about it, guys. Wake up.